Dr. Michael Wheeler, orthopedic spine surgeon. And if you get overwhelmed or frustrated with the number of tests that your orthopedic doctor or surgeon is ordering, this video should be helpful for you. I want to go over the different types of imaging studies that we can get and explain what they look for, how they're different, and more importantly, how this helps us make decisions. Okay, so let's start off with x-rays. When you see an orthopedic spine doctor or really an orthopedic surgeon in general, 99% of the time we're going to start off with an x-ray. X-rays look at the underlying structure of your bones. Okay, they give us very key points that are super important, at least on a ground level, about what kind of problem we're dealing with. They tell us, were you born with anything funny? Do you have any sort of congenital, meaning born with abnormality that you may not have known about for a long period of time that can impact how your body is behaving? Number two, they can tell us if you had any previous injuries to your spine or whatever body part we're looking at that may have healed differently that can impact your current problem. Number three is to get an idea of how your body has behaved to the decades of life that you have. Wherever you are and throughout life, how degenerative is your spine or whatever condition? And then number four gives us an idea of the overall alignment of your spine, which is actually really important. X-rays are going to be done with you standing up as opposed to laying down, which is really crucial for us to get an idea of how your body is behaving when it's under physiologic weight. And then also we'll get flexion and extension x-rays. So we take a picture of your spine from the front and then also from the side view. And then with you bending in different directions to see if there's a dynamic component of this. X-rays have a lot of advantages. They're quick. We get the results immediately. They give us a very good broad overview of what exact type of problem we're dealing with. It tells us if it's related to the underlying structure of the bones themselves. The limitations of an x-ray is they don't look at the soft tissues well. So they don't look at tendons. They don't look at nerves. They don't evaluate the actual discs very well. Lots of information can be gleaned from an x-ray, but not everything, which is why it's going to be the fundamental starting point for any evaluation of a patient. More videos on MRIs and CT scans to follow.